Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. So someone insisted <laughs> on being in the intro with me. Say so, hey Lauren. Hey Lauren. <laughs> Tonight <laughs> for what's for dinner, we're gonna make some creamy one pot pasta. Um, I'm gonna get the ingredients out, show you guys what they are, get it on, get it cooking. Literally takes I think about 45 minutes to an hour to make. <laughs> Seriously, kid. Okay, go away. <laughs> Literally takes about 45 minutes to an hour to make. Oh gosh, <laughs> she got me dropping cameras. <laughs> so we're gonna get it on and get dinner going and I'll show you guys the finished product once it's all said and done. Okay, so we got some chopped onions and some minced garlic. Of course, you guys know I use this garlic um, when I need to make life a little easier and don't feel like mincing garlic. So in this recipe, we're also going to use a little bit of salt and <laughs> crazy me, knocking stuff over. Um, some nutritional yeast, of course, to give it that cheesy, creamy flavor. Um, some crushed red peppers. Focus. So crushed red peppers and then some oregano to give it that Italian taste to it. And then some veggie broth. We're going to take and mix all that up into the pot. Um, and go from there. So nutritional yeast, salt, oregano, and just a little bit of red pepper flakes. And that's all going to get mixed together. Um, I've got some cashews soaking to make the creamy sauce to go in the pasta itself. All right. So of course, you guys know my trusty. We got some avocado oil. We're going to saute the veggies in. And we're going to saute the onions first. And then I'm going to come behind and saute up or cook down, I would say, the garlic, get the raw taste out of it. To this mixture, I forgot to mention, I'm going to add in some, um, what's it called, roasted red peppers um, because that's going to help add a little bit more flavor to it. So we are going to add some roasted red bell peppers to it. Now that the onion is cooked down just a little bit, I don't want to burn the garlic so I want to make sure that um, I cook the onions down just a little bit before I add the garlic so I'm just going to saw, soften up and cook up the garlic a little bit now and then once that's cooked down just a little bit then we're going to take and add in some of the veggie broth now I did not pour all of the veggie broth in just enough to boil the pasta so to speak so it's to where I just need enough to cover the amount of pasta I put in there I then add in all my other ingredients. I'm going to add in, I think it's pronounced penne pasta, one box of penne pasta. If it's penny, somebody tell me. But I'm going to add in um, one box of penne pasta. Then I'm going to add in my roasted red peppers because then, because it's going to help give it that, again, that roasted uh, flavor, roasted Italian flavor. And then Jumping these ingredients right in the pot because it's all going to go to the same place. Mix it up, stir it together, and let it cook down. I'm going to mix this up and then I'm going to allow put the lid on it and allow it to come to a boil. That's going to help it um, to cook the pasta. I'm going to cook the pasta kind of al dente. I think I said that right. Cook the pasta al dente um, so that way it's tender but not too mushy when we eat it. Now that I've got it all mixed up, I'm going to, like I said, put the lid on it, bring it to a boil, and then um, let it cook the pasta again al dente. Now, it, it, really, I just follow the directions that are on the box, pretty much. While that's cooking, I'm going to blend together the sauce that makes this the creamy one-pot pasta. So I'm going to put in some cashews, um, some tomato paste, and a, a little bit of the rest of the veggie broth. I've learned, and you'll see it when I grate it pour it into the pot, that I put too much tomato paste in my mixture because it comes out thick instead of creamy, but, but it all turns out well in the end. So I've got the soaked cashews. I rinse those off and put those in. I used a whole can that small can of tomato paste and then some veggie broth to kind of blend it together. I'm going to get the lid on this thing and get it blending. 
I'm going to start off at a low speed um, and then increase it periodically, blend it for about a minute or so, just enough time to get it to mix together and turn into yummy, yummy goodness. Um, again, like I said, you guys are going to see how it looks very thick, but it still works. So this is what it looks like all blended together. Nice and goodness, goodness. You're going to take this over to the pot and mix that into there. Um, the pasta has cooked down. It's softened up a little bit. Most of the water has boiled out. And now we can take and add in the cashew creamy sauce that we just made to make it by the name Creamy One Pot Pasta. Um, the sauce itself is really good. No need to add any salt or anything like that to it because you've got your seasonings from the mixture we put in beforehand. But as you're going to see, this stuff is super thick when it's time to pour it in there. Literally, I could not get it to come out. Um, so I had to figure out another way. Y'all know I'll do what I do. But we're going to get this in the pot um, and we're going to mix this all together um, and then go from there. And then you'll see that as we mix it together, it will um, kind of blend in with the pasta and make it look super, super creamy. And it is so delicious. If you guys make this, definitely let me know about it in the comments below um, because I found it on Pinterest, tasted it. My family loves it. That's why we make it very often. So I hope you guys definitely try it. But as you see here, um, after some stirring and letting it cook down just a little bit more, the sauce itself kind of thinned out and gave it our flavor we needed. Now, of course, you got to have the meal with some greens. So we're going to add some spinach in. Mix that together and we're going to put the lid on it and let that cook down and then dinner should be ready to go. We'll probably make some crescent rolls to go with this um, because what's a meal without some bread? What's a pasta meal first of all without some good bread to go with it? So I'm going to get this spinach all mixed into the pot itself. Hey little buddy get in there. Get it all mixed together. Put the lid on it to let it kind of cook down just a little bit. Literally, no, not that much heat on the eye. Um, turn it down just a little and just allow that um, spinach to kind of wilt down a little bit so it's not like we're eating big leaves. I think we did enough mixing. It's all mixed together. Put this lid on. Turn this temperature down to low, pretty much. And then we have our finished product. This is what it looks like all mixed together. Mm, 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 so good. Now on to tasting it. Let's try it out. All right. So Lauren is going to try it for us. You guys see how yummy it looks? We decided to make those crescents. All right, Lauren, are you ready to taste? So taste and see what it tastes like, my dear. Why are you picking it up like that? <laughs> Blow it because it's still hot. Any day now on the blow, ma'am, please. I think that's a perfection. That's a, that's a. Delicious. Good job. Mm, no, we know what those taste like. <laughs> Thanks, loves, for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, if you decide to make it, definitely let me know. Where I got the inspiration from will be in the comments. No, not the comments. In the description box below. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I get my inspiration from Pinterest and a lot of my um, things are on my board so if you want to see what's on my vegan board it might be public I don't know but follow me at Shanti Speaks on Pinterest as well and you'll see some of the things that I've pinned for um, this vegan journey all right thanks for watching so much guys <laughs> thanks so much for watching I mean be blessed and less stress Shanti Speaks you want to say bye Lauren We'll let Lauren say bye, too. Bye. Bye.
Bye, guys. <laughs>